Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For the people that are new here, my name is Janina. I am from Berlin, Germany, but I've been living in the United States since November of 2019. And on my channel, I share my thoughts and ideas of living in the US as a foreigner. And today I have a very interesting topic that is actually more about Germans and it is how to annoy Germans or like what better not to do in order to not annoy Germans. And it's gonna be uh, at least partly specifically things that are done by Americans that annoy Germans. So yeah, that's what we're gonna talk about today. I have two little disclaimers for you. First of all, uh, Germany is a big country and there are a lot of different people. So this is obviously not annoying for every single German. Everyone is different. So it's definitely gonna get a little bit stereotypical here. And the second one is that this video is in no way intended to um, talk bad about the US or about Americans. There's actually um, a lot of things that Germans like about Americans, but we're just gonna focus on the more negative things today. But yeah, definitely don't take this video too seriously. Oh, and I should probably also mention that this is more directed for uh, foreigners living in Germany rather than like Germans being in the US like of course uh, when we come here we adapt and we don't expect that things are handled in a certain way so this is more interesting for people that actually like plan on staying for a while in Germany that, that plan on living there for a while and so on so the first thing is being environment friendly is really really important for a lot of Germans and we have many ways in of like including it into our day-to-day -day life for example, almost everywhere you have the separation of different trash types and this is uh, mandatory. So if you should definitely do that when you live in Germany because I had it, for example, in my neighborhood that some neighbors are actually checking what kind of trash goes into the different trash bins and they write notes, for example, saying, oh, I saw something in the plastic trash that didn't belong there. These kind of things can really piss people off. So you yeah, definitely want to keep an eye on that and try to, you know, sort all your trash accordingly. Then also other things like, for example, for me, so my husband is American and it made me crazy when in the night or in the morning we would be uh, brushing our teeth and he just leaves the water running for, I don't know, two or three minutes. I feel like this is such a waste. and. Uh, I, I tried to not say anything, but I, I just couldn't like, I don't know, for some reason I felt like this was so unnecessary and yeah, I just stopped the water and, and now he's not doing that anymore. I, I, I think he doesn't do it anymore. I'm actually not 100% sure. He's been living in Germany for a while, so I kind of feel like he adapted in some kind of ways uh, to Germany, which I really like. Yeah, and then there are many more things that belong into this category, like don't waste anything, don't waste food freeze food but try not to waste it try to avoid taking the car um, lots of germans don't have a car our public transport is actually also really good lots of people take the bike and uh, actually yeah respect uh, people on the bike they might not respect you actually like there are some you know crazy bike drivers who are like just driving on on the car lane and they don't care that you have to drive super slowly behind them they don't just move to the side so but still uh try to respect people on the bike and yeah that's definitely something really really important in germany my second point is not respecting somebody's personal space i mentioned this in another video before um like a little bit and that is that in in the states it's maybe considered rude to not make conversation with the people around you and in germany it's kind of like um the opposite so for us it's like you are in your own personal space you are waiting for the metro or like somewhere in an elevator or wherever. So it can definitely consider to be rude by, for example, passing them super close or um, by touching them. I would really say don't touch anyone. Sometimes even like talking to strangers. I'm absolutely not saying like, don't talk to anyone. No, actually you should because also Germans enjoy doing like a little small talk every once in a while and also talking to random people. But I just say, take it slow and 
see how they react like maybe don't make that huge joke or something or say something that could be considered offensive just like wait more um, for their rea reaction and also um, especially like when you're doing it in English I am um, most Germans speak English so that's definitely not a problem but we don't talk it in Germany like on a day-to-day -day basis so it might actually take the other person a little bit to actually get into that English mode and say something English back so yeah my point is basically just like don't overwhelm them and you're gonna be good and my third point is having prejudices being ignorant and yeah not knowing about the history so yeah okay of course uh, we absolutely don't expect that people know everything about our history and like whatever it is like second world war or whatever so I, I i would even say that it is totally fine to ask a german any questions you might have like even if you feel like the question is going to be a little bit dumb and that is that it's supposed to be common knowledge and that you should really know i feel like no you can pretty much ask anything and i actually observed that germans love to answer all these kind of questions and they yeah they are not offended even if the question is maybe not the smartest one as long as you ask in a respectful or at least neutral kind of way so there are some stereotypes in germany about uh, people from the us that they basically don't know anything about germany that they think that uh, hitler is still alive and our president and that germany is a dictatorship and honestly so i've been living here for two and a half years now and I have not met one American that thought that. Uh, it was the contrary. Um, I was actually surprised to see how much people here knew about uh, German's history, Germans, Germany's presence, about the Chancellor and everything. It was, I was really surprised, but it was actually Americans telling me that this might be due to me being here in Washington DC, a kind of progressive place with people having traveled all over the place and that this might actually be different in, in other parts in the US. I personally cannot tell, I haven't uh, experienced it yet, but yeah, it might be a thing. And I have another thing, but it's kind of like a little bit also attached to the third point. So I don't know if I should count it as a fourth point. And that is the kind of mindset that some people here might have that it's like everything is just better in us and i don't even need to ever leave the us or travel anywhere because he is just the fucking best and i don't know when we're having a discussion i don't need, even need to have valid points on why things are better in us because it is just better again i luckily don't have experienced that so far and also i don't think there's anything wrong with being patriotic or loving your country i just think it's very important that you at the same time show the same respect towards the other country whatever country it might be so and with these words i would like to end my video i really hope you liked it please give me a thumbs up and also write me a comment that would be really really nice and help me for the algorithm and i hope to see you guys in the next video bye